Hello talkers, this is Ruth Finney with today's talk inspired practice. Ask and don't demand. One of the quickest ways to lose respect in communication, and this goes for men and women alike, is to make demands for what we want rather than just asking. Imagine this. So we walk into a space that we're sharing with this person, either work or home or wherever, and immediately we walk into a mess. Stacks of papers over here, piles of clothes over there, or maybe they've just left their trash laying around and just commonly don't pick up after themselves, which can be very irritating, right? So what happens next? We feel our anger start to rise and immediately start blurting out, why are you so messy? Pick up after yourself. Quit leaving your junk around. I'm not your maid. This is embarrassing. So what happens next? The person is probably caught off guard by the content and tone of the conversation because they don't see a problem. And immediately they begin to feel degraded, belittled, and devalued. This type of communication is typically not well received and usually just causes barriers to go up. Now, we may have very legitimate reasons to be upset with the person, but if our intention is to have the problem addressed without causing damage to the relationship, then there's a better way. We can simply say, hey, I know we feel differently about how a space should be kept, and I'm perfectly comfortable with you keeping your personal space however you like it. But this is a space that we share, and I have a hard time functioning or feeling relaxed when I'm in a space that is unkept. So can we agree that in our shared spaces that we keep the area picked up free from clutter and personal items. That way we can feel confident when customers arrive or when guests come over that the place will be presentable. Can you commit to doing that with me? Now, be prepared that you may have to remind them of this agreement when necessary, but be courteous and be consistent and they will begin to comply. Making demands might get us what we want, but if that means devaluing the other person, it's not worth the potential damage to the relationship. If you can relate, become a talker. Subscribe to You Can Talk and learn more ways that you can talk your way to the healthier relationships that you desire and you deserve. Until next time, be the light.